So this is an ASCII roguelike. It's a little odd. And by a little odd, I mean it's very old school. We're going to be playing this really slowly, and I'm going to do my best to read everything. Um, even chat broke. Really? What? Sounds like Twitch kind of pooped it itself a little bit. But anyways, so for those of you, if anybody's here is in chat, came from Cleve, or you've been here just for Planet Coaster, that's fine if you want to head out. But I do recommend that you give this game a shot. It's a very interesting rogue game. Okay? It's very fun, and I really like what I've played of it. Welcome to Brogue. Okay? Welcome to Brogue. So this is what we see here. We are this at symbol. Okay? And hello, adventure, to the Dungeons of Doom. Retrieve the amulet of Yandor from the 26th floor and escape with it. Press question mark, press question mark at any time for help. So, if we, where is question mark at? It's actually not working, but anyways. So, it's pretty simple. So, you hover your mouse over things and it'll actually tell you what you see. So, initially, we're gonna look here. LGN. Oh, really? Huh. So if we have around, you see ground. This is ground. This is us. Over here we see murky waters. Uh, shallow water. We can walk through the shallow water. So anything with a dot on it, we can walk on. So let's move forward. See a hallway. See a stone wall. Stone walls. There's actually a, a little doorway there. Over here there's another doorway and a little open area. Uh, we can't really see too much over there. There's a wooden door over through the murky waters. I don't know if we can actually get there. Yeah, because there the water gets too deep. So we're actually gonna... Oh, no, no. Okay, I know we can't go there, but we can we can go through all this area, but there's no reason for us to go there. I'm scared we're gonna run into eels or something. Twitch can be stupid. Yeah, LGM, that is absolutely true. We move forward here. That's through. There's a wooden door, but we don't know what else is in here. Hello. There is some dense foliage. Can't see through the dense foliage. Another wooden door. So there's two doors right here, plus a cavern over here. Let's actually just pop into the dense foliage and see what we see. Still nothing. More foliage. There could be creatures in here. More walls. Oh, hey! Back into the original space. Well, this actually isn't a separate room or anything. We can actually see where we started. That's neat. Let's move back through here. Trampled foliage. Oh, neat. So once you actually walk through the foliage, I, I didn't realize this before. Once you walk through the dense foliage, it turns from those symbols to these guys. Oh, hello. There's a kobold. Kobold. Lizard-like humanoid. Uh, the upper dungeon. It has a 50% chance to hit us. Typically, it hits for 8% of your current health. And at... Whoops. Well, and at worst, could defeat you in 8 hits. You have 100% chance to hit the kobold. Typically, whoops, you hit for 42% of its current health. Okay, so let's hit it. Cobalt bashed us, but we hit it. So the cobalt is now gone. Wild Pidgey, yeah, pretty much. Something like that's gonna happen. I swear to god I saw a second one. There's a scroll or something out there. I guess the cobalt left the door open. Let's peek in here. Let's see what we see. More dense foliage. Oh, it's a rat. Let's see if I can throw my knife at it. Or uh, no, I oh I do I do have a dart. I do have darts. Let's hit those darts. Um I'm gonna throw one dart. And we're gonna throw it at the sleeping rat. We hit the rat, I think. The dart did indeed hit the rat, so we're gonna do that again. Throw. We're gonna hit the rat. Rat's gone. Whew. Moving forward. Again, just more dense foliage. See if there's anything through here. Nothing. Just some doors. What's behind this door? Eh, nothing. We can still peek through, though. Oops, never mind. There was a cobalt in there. I didn't actually see that. Crap. It hit us, but we defeated the cobalt. That's fine. The levels are all randomly generated. This is a rogue game. So this means that, like Binding of Isaac or any of those games, everything is randomly generated. It is turn-based. So the game moves either as fast or as slowly as... Every single time you move, a turn happens. Every single time you move through a square. So different uh, enemies will move in different speeds and various things. I see ground. Okay. I thought that was like deep water or something there. There's still some doors back here that we need to check out a little later. Um, I'm getting very tired. We'll see you later, LGN. But no, I don't expect to stream this game frequently. Jackal. Ooh. Has a 44% chance to hit you and it'll hit for 10%. Of that thing will hit us pretty hard. But yeah, no. Um, so that's what this is. 
Um, I don't expect to stream this game f like a lot, and I don't expect to get any views from it. This is just an interesting game that tickles my fancy. Okay, so we've we've hit it down to what? We've hit it down. We typically. So if we hit it once, it'll die. Let's hit it. There we go. Jackal missed us. Oh, that's good. What is this? A blood wart stock. What is that? What is in? What is that? But yeah, no, it's free. Um, if you would like to download it, it's right here, Connor. And it's really neat. Once you finish a run, um, you can go back and. There's a replay button, and it will go through as fast or as slowly every single move you made. It's actually recording it. Um, and you can share high scores around with people as well, which is cool. Um, let's move through here. And like any other rogue game, you get like these nice little stories. I might actually make a, uh, a command in my chat. Whoops. Let's uh, hit this again. How many darts do we have left? We still have 11 darts left. Let's hit this kobold, because this kobold may hit us. It is sleeping. So we'll hit it for 60% of its current health. Cobalt missed us. You hit the cobalt, the cobalt missed us. Cobalt's dead. Moving forward. It feels like playing D&D, and I think that's why I like it. Um, it also makes me feel weirdly nostalgic for games like this that I used to play. I had never played any ASCII roguelikes, but I have played games like this in the past. They always had graphics, but I feel very nostalgic for this game all the same. Okay, so we are trying to find the stairs down. There's still stuff over here we need to explore in various rooms. Oh, geez. There's something. A scroll entitled Green Greenage Was Lufa. Wait, what? This parchment covered with incomprehensible writing bears the title of Greenpinge Was Lofa. Who knows what it's all... Who just knows what it will do when I read them aloud? Who knows what it will do when I read it aloud? So, we can pick that up. We now have a scroll. Which we can read aloud, which will do something. Let's see what's through these. Whoops, what's that? 81 gold pieces? Ooh! We found a pile of 81 gold coins. In the bushes. Okay, so let's, uh... Head back this way. And because it, it is... It is turn-based, like, these are all turns that we're using, but it should be fine. Wait, what? You see a rat? Where's the rat? Oh, there's the rat. Can I... Where'd the rat go? Oh, I see, it's still... It's the rat's in here. So let's see if we can move forward and hit the rat. There's the rat. It is moving. It's wandering. It's not hunting us. Can we sneak around it? It's still wandering. It's still wandering. It's... Is it just wandering, or is it hunting us? Let's hit it. Okay, we can kill the rat. There we go. Got the rat. But yeah, no, that's... That's broke. Whoops, dude. There was a rat, but it went up that way, I think? I don't know where it went. What's this? A walnut staff. This garland walnut staff, whoops, is worn to the touch. Who knows what it will do when used? We could try this staff. Let's take a look at this walnut staff. I can drop it. I can relabel it. I can call it. I guess that's rename, right? Zapping your walnut staff. Direction. So I guess I can just hit that. Neat! Your walnut staff must be a staff of tunneling. So I can cut through walls. Let's hit this rat. Okay, rat's dead. The rat missed us, that's good. But can I continue to use the walnut staff? Apply. Let's use it. So I can literally just knock down fucking walls with this thing. That is cool. 
And there's the stairs down. But there's still some stuff down here that we need to explore. There's a coal bolt. So we have discovered what this walnut staff does. Let's grab these tomes. Horagopis is what that scroll says. There's a scroll up here as well. What are you doing? It's sleeping. How about this one? It's also sleeping. Um, and we still have nine darts, so let's... Oopsies. I see. T. There we go. Let's hit it. Boom. I see. T. Boom. Okay. You're at what? There we go. That's one. No, that won't break things at all. I mean, I'm sure the game's designed around that. We're throwing darts at this cobalt. Let's hit it. There we go. It's two cobalts down. Let's fire our way over this way. Cool. But we don't know how many limited uses that thing has. That's the exit to the dungeon. So let's go down. And hang on, let's go back. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't. Okay. That was just a hole in the wall that I put earlier. What do those look like? Rough granite wall, because we just blew a hole in the wall, right? So now we're in a lower dungeon. We are in level two. And the game gets harder as you go deeper. And all of the levels are um, harder. I see a jackal. Where do I see a jackal? Let's see. Hello. Bloodward seed. The Bloodwort Seed pod bursts, releasing a cloud of healing spores. Neat! Huh. Neat! So these are like healing plants. Cool. I could get down with this. Also, thank you to those of you who are sticking around. Seriously, thank you. It's very much appreciated. You guys are enjoying a little bit of weird gaming. Teleportation charm? Okay. The surface of this nickel sphere has been etched with the perfect grid pattern. Somehow, the squares of the grid are all exactly the same size. When used, this charm will teleport you elsewhere in the dungeon has a recharge of 550 turns. If the charm is enchanted, it will recharge in 302. It has been changed. Yes, it, it, it has been changed. In fact, it was changed. Yeah, it's been changed for a while. You need to either refresh your game or, uh, or re refresh the stream or something of the sort. Okay, there's a cobalt down there. It's sleeping. Oh, no, it woke up. Let's take it out. Okay, let's that cobalt down. What's this? A bladder of deadly glass. A bladder of deadly gas. Boys a bloat through the air. Boys a bloat through the air. That's a sentence that I just read. It's thin veins membrane ready to rupture at the slightest stress. The bloat has no direct damage. You have a 100% chance to hit the bloat and you typically hit for 75% of its current health. The bloat dies when it attacks, flies and moves erratically. So we should theoretically, oh, there's a pool of blood on there. No. I mean, I know friends, Shades, who... I have friends who... So as long as we go around the bloat, we should be fine, right? Are you sleeping? Or you're wandering. Um, but I, I have a lot of friends... Three plus zero darts. Ooh. I have friends who uh, remake all of their friends in The Sims. So no, that's not too weird. You know, let's go back up this way. Oh, Jesus. Jackal bit me. 
Okay, we're fighting the jackal. Jackal's down. That's fine. It's a lot of blood right there. I know why. Why would you think it's bad that you're remaking your family tree in The Sims? Let's use this thing. Ooh, hello. There's uh, another bloat, or it's the same bloat. I'm not sure. There's a rat. It's wandering. We don't know what these scrolls do, but we already got one of these. There's a cobalt down there. Ooh, this, this level of the dungeon ain't too pleasant now, is it? Rat bit me. God damn you, rat. Fuck off. There's nothing much up here that I can see. Ooh, neat. Okay. The bloat went up that way last time I checked. There's the bloat. Let's check out up here. Oh, neat. Cool. I could just, like, knock down that wall to avoid the bloat. Let's do that. But yeah, no, as long as you're having fun with The Sims, you aren't doing anything wrong. Just saying. As long as you're having fun with The Sims, you're playing everything just right. Okay, rat, fight me. The rat missed me, I hit the rat. Rat's dead. Dead rat, and there's water over here. Murky waters, shallow waters. Gotta be careful, there are sometimes eels in the water from what I've seen. There's the bloat. Where are you going, bloat? Bloat ex so it actually hit me. The bloat, ex the bloat explodes, leaving behind an expanding cloud of co coxic, caustic gas. So unpleasant stuff. Ah! You pe you feel the purple glass ga glass gas eating away at your flesh. Okay. Um. Where's the scroll of teleportation? Teleportation's a charm. Uh, apply? Okay, so that's just gonna keep expanding, right then? Or is that all it's gonna fill out? Desktop dun dungeons? You're, ex you're installing it again? I don't actually know what desktop dungeons is. Please explain. A blue potion. Let's grab the blue potion. There's a potion up here. What's this potion? Grab that as well. So I guess it stops expanding after a bit. Oh, hey, it went away. And there's a jackal. Okay, let's try this. I want to do something silly. Let's take this indigo potion, and we're going to throw it. <laughs> let's throw it at the jackal. Let's see what it does. The flash shatters, and the indigo liquid splashes harmlessly on the ground. Oh, right. <laughs> I was hoping we'd figure out what that potion was, but I guess not. Where'd you go, jackal? I, I, I literally threw a potion at you, and your response is to ignore me. I'll well, fuck you, too. Um... Staff of tunneling. No, don't throw. Apply. Staff of tunneling. Apply. What's this? Chainmail! Ooh! New armor! Uh oh. It's a cobalt. Are you sleeping? Ooh, it's sleeping. Don't wake up. Ah, you woke up. Okay. Let's equip this. Because we have le leather armor. Equip. Dawning armor? Wait, what? Huh. Stealth range. I oh, okay. You're gonna head off? Not because you don't like the game, but because it's 8 in the morning? Yes, that is absolutely fair. Absolutely, Connor. I'm glad that you stuck around. And, uh, you have a good night, man. I'm glad that you enjoyed at least a little bit of this weird-ass retro gaming. Or not necessarily retro, but, like, old-school style? Goblin? Covered with glowing sigils that pulse with the power, with 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 power, can call to existence a phantom blades to attack his foes. The go goblin, there. Yeah. He has like giant floating knives around him. Um, the goblin conjurer has hit, hit yeah, typically hits for ten percent of your current health, and at worst could defeat you in seven hits. You have an 87% chance to hit the goblin conjurer, and you hit for 30% of his current health. Oh boy. It's actually not that great. The Goblin Conjurer summons allies. Attacks up... 
up to two opponents in a line. Avoids attacking in, in corridors. Oh, avoid... Okay. Doesn't like attacking you in corridors. Is he attacking? No, but he's off balance. Let's hit him with a dart. We still have three darts left. Throw. Throw. We hit the goblin conjurer. So he is... He did take some... He did take some damage, and he's hunting us now. Inventory. C for our darts. T for throw. We hit him again. Let's back up one. I. C. T. Throw. That's the last of it. The goblin conjurer gestures ominously. Spawns, spawns in more blades. Let's keep hitting his blades. Jesus, this dude's hard to take out. There we go, he's next to us. We can hit him. There we go, he's down. There goes the goblin conjurer. Moving over to the wooden door. Moving up to the wooden door. Opening the wooden door. Taking a look around. Bano, to those of you guys watching, am I doing a good job of explaining? Whoops. Oh, Jesus. There's a jackal. He's just wandering. Don't oh, fuck this jackal. Staff of tunneling. Apply. Let's go through the wall. And nope. Okay. Your staff. You must be running out of charges for now. Oh, no. I liked my staff. Let's get out of this tunnel. Oh, hello, jackal. Let's hit him. Jackal mauls you. Jesus Christ. Goodbye, jackal. I think that there's still more seeds over here so we can go heal some more. Ah, healing spores. Nothing better. Okay, moving this way. Granite walls. Stone walls. Okay, we need to adventure down here to figure out what's down there. There's still something over here, apparently, though. Let's go here first. Cool. Nothing over there. Let's peter our way down through here, through these thick bushes. Okay, some of these are trampled. Something's been here. Can sort of see a bit. Ooh, hello. There's a rat. Sleeping. Okay. Let's back up. There's a stairs down. We do still need to explore a little bit more. There's probably some stuff over here. Let's take a look around. Gray potion. There's another flying bloat. Come on, stop following me. Why are you hunting me? Okay. Do you mind not? A net trap. Let's not go into the trap. You're still hunting me. Well, looks like we're gonna have to fight, Mr. Bloat. Or not. Maybe not? I still have one unexplored door at the first floor, really? Huh, well, maybe we can pe peter back up there and see what we see. Oh, there we go. There he is. I defeated the pit bloat. You plunge downward into the hole. Oh boy. So the pit bloat, which is kind of funny actually, makes a hole beneath him. So we're now one fall down. Or we're now one floor down. There's one, two, three jackals in the room. A, a monkey, which is sleeping. A kobold, a rat. They're all sleeping. Well, this is bad. One of the jackals is now high. Oh, there they go. I think we might die here. Well, we're super low on health now. Let's see what our potions do. How you doing? Flavor box, how you doing? Let's drink a blue, a blue potion and see what happens. You feel yourself speed up. Must have been a potion of speed. Oh, neat. So now the blue potions are potions of speed. There is a sleeping cobalt. 
Okay, well, he's dead. Let's go, Bob. What's up, Flavorbox? How you doing? We're in After Hours right now, so we're playing a little bit of a game called Brogue. Nanoogaluga Naglu, whatever that does. Not a monkey. And to find the... Oh, there's the floor back up. So at least they give us the... Uh... Oh yeah, because we found the floor on the pre... The, or the stairs on the previous floor, right? Let's see, uh, what is that? A locked iron door. I guess we need a key for that. Yeah, okay, we can go back up now. A monkey. Are you hunting? Yes, you are hunting. Let's kill him. Grab that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> ah, much better. Much better. Um, can we rest? And then. Hmm. All of the places have a hole. It had to be a mob room. Yeah, of course. Of all of the places for there to be a hole, a mob room indeed. Okay, um. Where's the door? Oh, that's the door, yeah. You're right. How do we get there? I guess this way. See a jackal. Oh, there's still there's still things on the first floor. Where's this jackal? Oh, there it is. I'll do the fuck back there. Let's go. You know what we could do? It's fine. Oh, hello. Goodbye, rat. There was a rat there. We killed it. <laughs> it's fine. Inventory. Let's see this. Apply. You gonna fizzle out on me? Nope. There we go. This is the one room we haven't been in yet. There's that area. Is there anything important down here? Doesn't appear to be. Oh well, that was a bit of a waste of time. Although we do need some food. Okay, there's a cobalt and a jackal in here. But there's the there's there's a jackal. Let's, 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 let's get out of here. Let's get down here. There's one in the middle north? Oh really? Oh that one. Jesus! You're right, and there's also one down there. There's actually three. Fuck. Okay, I'm terrible at this, clearly. Crimson Potion, let's grab that. Okay, there's a Cobalt. It's just gonna casually move that way. Cobalt missed. Cobalt clubs us. We hit it. Okay, Cobalt's dead. Not a huge amount left, just a just a potion, but still. Still, okay. And this one, have we cleared this area? No, yeah. Uh, yes, we have definitely cleared this area. Let's move down. Well, actually, that's not totally true. There's this area. Also, there's a rat. Goodbye, rat. Never mind, we haven't cleared this area. We do need to eat something, though. Our nutrition's getting real low. We do have some food. Inventory. Um, some food. Apply. You're not hungry enough to fully enjoy the food? Eat it anyway? No. Okay. So, I'm not entirely certain how that works. How the food mechanic works. But how are you doing tonight? Flavor box. How's your day going? I saw that picture on Twitter. It was cool. So, now we're back down on the floor that we're really on. Let's look around a little bit. Hello, what's that? Great potion. It's a great potion. Oh, what are you? It's a monkey. Hello, monkey. Are you hunting me? You're fleeing. Okay, run. <laughs> Get going. Get the hell out. Let's move up into this room. What's up in the north? 
I'm a monk same monkey probably. He's still fleeing. Don't oh, blame it. I'm scurry. But thanks for pointing that out, Dead One. Uh, pfft, sounds about <laughs> Yeah, well, hmm. Factorio for 15 hours. It sounds about right. I hope you're enjoying Factorio more than I did. It's a door key! Ooh, screw it, let's see if it opens this door. What do we see? The altar? Is it an altar? See billowing flames. Wow, there's actually fire here. Um. Hmm. I don't know what I tripped on. Oh, I see. I guess when I took the key, it set stuff on fire? Well. Let's get out of there. <laughs> I don't like that room very much. What are you? A topaz ring? You see a red carpet. A sword. A wand of empowerment. And a war- Ooh! We found a loot room, boys! A war axe. Wand of empowerment. And what do you do? This sacred magic will permanently improve the mind and body of, a, of any monster. It hits. Really. A wise adventurer will use it on allies, making them- there's allies in this game- making them stronger in combat. Able to learn a new talent from a fallen foe. If the bolt is reflected back at you, it will have no effect. One charge remains. Enchanting, enchanting this wand will add one charge. This enormous steel hand of this war axe puts a considerable heft behind each stroke. The arc of its swing permits you to attack all adjacent enemies simultaneously. The war axe carries a penalty of minus 17.50 because, because of your inadequate strength. It will also reveal its secrets to you if you defeat, enemy, if you defeat 20 enemies with it. Wielding the War Axe, assuming it has no hidden properties, will decrease your current accuracy by 66% and will increase your current damage by 37%. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but I'm a, I, I would assume after, or while you're on one run, the effects of a certain color will stay the same. I would assume. A Ring of Awareness. Wearing this ring will enable you to notice hidden secrets, traps, and secret doors. I... Making it harder... More often from a... Whoops. More often from a greater distance. Cursed rings of awareness will dull your senses. Well, I don't think this is cursed, so we're going to take that. Equip. We're gonna equip that. Sword. 14. This razor sharp length of steel blade shines surprising. Shane's re reassuring. Reassuring. The sword carries a penalty of 5 because of your in inadequate strength. It will reveal its secrets by defeating 20 enemies with it. Blah, 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 blah. Current accuracy. Uh, by 27%, but it will increase my current damage. So what is good for me? The Warhammer decreasing my current accuracy by 71%, but it will increase my damage by 143. One of empowerment. Ring of Clairvoyance. Can I wear multiple rings? Cage is lowered to reveal altars. Wait, what? An iron cage. The cages lift off of the altars as you approach. Oh, jeez. So there's like a giant cage that's like coming down. Yeah, I think we're gonna take the sword. Having looked at everything. 
Oh, neat! I can only take one item at a time. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna drop this. I think I'm gonna take the sword. Now, I wonder... Because we have a drag... We have a dagger in our hand right now. I wonder if... We're gonna equip the sword. Okay. We're gonna go back into our inventory. And we're going to drop the dagger. We could also throw it, but we're gonna drop it. Okay, so it, it does... We are not allowed to leave another item then. That, that's fair. Okay. No, it, 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 that's not the way it works, unfortunately, dead one. I was hoping that was the way it worked, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay, well, let's, let's head out. Let's see what's up here. What, what are you? There's a potion. Nothing horrible. Let's check out this jackal. 72% chance to hit the jackal, we will kill it if we hit it. Because that lowers our ac that weapon lowered our accuracy. Brown potions, grab it. Grab it. Okay. There's two jackals. Oh, jeez. Two jackals. Three jackals! Four jackals? I kind of wish I took the... You can hit multiple dudes... Item, though. We missed. Defeated the jackal. Still one left. You yeah, missed. Jesus, these RNGs. Yeah, shame indeed, dead one. Shame indeed. A Proust potion? God, this game's actually quite engrossing once you get into it a little. Ooh, hello. What are you? A spear! Ooh! The spear might actually be good for us to take. The spear uh, carries a penalty. Wielding the spear, assuming it has no end properties, will increase your current accuracy by 16%. But it will so this will up our accuracy, but it will reduce our current damage. A slender wooden rod tipped with a sharpened iron with sharpened iron. The reach of your spear permits you to simultaneously attack an adjacent enemy. Oh, this is really nice. Sorry, but that I I've listened to the soundtrack before that always like shit scares me a little bit. That, that might not actually be a terrible idea. Oh hello. There's a goblin. Fill it filthy little primate! I like that. You have a 63 Ooh, only 63. But we'll kill it in two hits. Those are pretty bad odds, though. But there's healing behind it. We do need to eat pretty soon, though. Hello, what are you? Some food. Ooh. Got the food. <laughs> That's the important thing here. Oh, yeah, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dead one. We hit the goblin, goblin missed us. Goblin missed, we missed. Monkey's coming back. Goblin tweaks you? Oh, the monkey tweaks me, okay. I hit the goblin, monkey hits me. Defeated the goblin. Is it the monkey? We hit the monkey. We're doing fine though. There's more health right here. Monkey's fleeing, let's get that nasty little bugger. Okay, fine, he's gone. Okay, so you found 99 pieces of gold. Score. Proud of healing spores. Ah, uh, let's chill out in this. I like these things. Bloodwort stalks just sounds so unpleasant, but they're like healing clouds. It's like ah. Hello, you. I haven't actually tried any scrolls yet. There's 93 gold pieces. I don't know, do you think I should take that spear? I'll have better accuracy, but... Hello. Kill that jackal. Goodbye. Just 
There's two jackals in here. We'll just hit them. Come on, you. Still doing okay for health and nutrition. Awesome. Awesome. Nutrition's fixed as well, which is good. I don't actually know if there's anything over here. You know what? Let's try this. There's a rat. Okay, let's kill that rat. You better fucking run. Okay, let's head around this way. We're actually just going to do this. We'll at least be able to see if there's anything. Okay, we actually can't. Yeah, there is nothing in here. I'm just checking. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go in here. Unless I knock down a wall. So, let's move down. That is true. If I take the spear, I can just turn the sword and get the ring. I think we're actually going to do that. Good call. See a bloat? Wait, what? It's a bladder of deadly gas. No, don't hit the bloat. Hey! Monkey! Monkey! <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Um, let's go here. And, uh... Drop. Grab the ring of awareness. So the cages will come back down. Let's grab the ring of awareness. Equip. Cool. Good call, man. There's the bloat. Let's, uh... Let's not do that. Let's go down here. Inventory. Staff of Thunder. Oh, fuck, I like this thing. <laughs> Fly. Boom. Okay. Hello, Jackal. Two Jackals. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Let's hit the Jackal. Hit the Jackal. Hit the Jackal. Hit the Jackal. Alright, sure. It would probably be a good idea if I equipped the, uh... The spear. Equip. We had no weapon. Equip. That's why it took us so long to kill it. Something in the water? Wait, where? Yeah, no, I, I got that. Wow, oh, there's a lot of jackals back here. Now I wonder, are they spawning somewhere? Are they spawning somewhere, or did they... Oh, hello. But, you know, what do you mean there's something in the water? Where have you seen this game before? I mean, it's ASCII, so who knows, really? Let's see if I can fire this. There we go. I'm not sure what you're referring to. No, this game actually is Brogue, Trapster. This, uh, this game's quite new, actually. Um... Here, uh, let, allow me to read the description. Brogue is a roguelike game for Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux by Brian Walker. The latest version can be downloaded at the website. Uh, tips? No, it, it's it's brand new. Um, and he puts out he's put out a patch every single once a week for the past little bit. Uh, here's the website. I mean, it's possible you've seen it before. Lower right tunnel. Lower right. Stone wall. Oh, neat. So we're underwater now? Today I learned you can get underwater. Huh. How did you... An indigo potion? How did you see that? Let's just head down. What's this? See a withered fungus. Find out? Alrighty. You know, I found out about this game because a viewer told me of it. Let's see a chasm. Just a pit. A massive pit right there. Hmm. More withered fungus. Bog. 
Not pleasant, that's for sure. Oh, hello. Splint mail. Is that better than what I currently have? You will take a penalty of 12.5 because of your inadequate strength. It will increase your strength. Hmm. Splint mail. I think our mail. We could we could equip it. No, this isn't a multi-user dungeon. Multi-user dungeons are MMOs. I mean, it does kind of look like NetHack. I mean, let me look up some pictures of NetHack. Yeah, no, this is kind of like a modern-looking NetHack. I could see. Isn't NetHack still getting developed? Pretty sure like, that... I'm pretty sure NetHack is. I just noticed that I got t bullshit tweeted at me, quite literally. Of course you're allowed to post links. Post a link. Alright, anyways, um... I mean, we could try this. Interesting. Constricts around you painfully. Drop our other armor. Whoa, hello. Lava? Is it flowing? See pink jelly. Plastic pink goo slips across the ground in search of a warm meal. Pink jelly has 85% chance hit you. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have an, we also have an 80% chance. Wow, Jesus. Could defeat us in 10 hits. I think we should just avoid that, if anything. Fuck, there's a lot of stuff on that side. I really don't want to go over there. Does not seem pleasant. Hmm. Welp. That doesn't seem good. Oh, hello. There's just like a one, two, three, four jackals? Where'd they come from? There was nowhere they could have come from from there. What the sh... One, two, three, four jack... Five... Never mind, these are pink jellies. They're not jackals. Um... It smears you and it... and it drenches me. Where'd these fucking come from? Huh. Well, that's us dead. We were killed by pink jelly on depth floor. Four. Yeah, no, that, that is bad. What even just happened? Save recording, absolutely. View recording, let's see this. Okay, so this is our run from the beginning. Let's just hold down the button and speed through it. This is our first run. This is the first floor. Yeah, rip run indeed. This is all still the first floor. We're going to return back to this floor later because I missed a thing. Just killed some rats. Killed some more rats. Dude, that pink slime. Like, that, that shit fucked us up, man. I, like, I want to know where it came from. Because... 
it, like, didn't show itself at all. These recordings are cool, by the way. Because I can actually pause and go in real time, which is super cool. I really like these recordings. This is a neat feature. We did 2,744 turns. I like how it says that you're lit. That's amusing to me. But yeah, no, thank you very much to everybody who's stuck around for this. Um, those of you watching, if you find this game interesting, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know, because I definitely found this interesting. Ooh, I know who we're hosting tonight. Um, I've definitely found this game interesting. It's, it's something special, I think. And I, I want to come back and mess with this some more as it evolves and play it occasionally. Do a run for, to end off the stream in the evenings. I think that is a good use for this game. And if you know, if it's your thing and you find it interesting, maybe stick around and watch. If you don't find it interesting, then, you know, that's fine. Because I'll be doing the things that you do find interesting during the day. That was a weird room up there at the top. This is me trying to figure out if there's any other way for me to get into those other rooms that I'd missed. Fuck that monkey. Grab the spear. Fight off the last of jackals, heal up again. Head down. So this is where we got GG down here. Yeah, no, it is. Exactly, dead one. That's why I love this feature. It's super fucking cool. Okay. So we go in here. We see those jellies. So this is where I don't understand what happened. Okay, so we see a jackal and a toad. Jackal, toad, jackal. We go up into here. I can also just run in real time the speed that I went. Now this is what I don't understand. Something hits you. Oh my gosh, so the pink jelly, every time it hits you, it multiplies. So what must have happened is the pink jelly came down from up here. It must, okay, because we were over here, right? And we came through here, the pink jelly saw us, and it was hunting. It did say it was hunting when we first saw it. It must have come down here while we were fumbling around in the darkness over here. And then every time we split, it's, it caught us in here. And then every single time we hit it, it split into another one. And then I saw an opportunity and I tried to get out, but we were already basically dead at this point. And then here our HP just drops, and I kept hitting it. Wow. Okay. Fucking run from pink jelly. There's gotta be some way to disenchant it or something. Well, that was interesting. That was really interesting. Huh. We discovered the potion of speed. We, di we discovered the stash of, or the staff of tunneling. We discovered the wand of empowerment, uh, empowerment and uh, the rings of clairvoyance and awareness. So I wonder if those stay discovered. Crushes you beneath, crunches beneath your feet. Oh, really? Wait, where, where do you see that? Grass like fungus crunches beneath the feet. Where, where did you see that exactly?
But either way. Neat. Cool. Well, that's broke. Which we were able to do for about an hour. The end of the stream, I think. What's our view count looking like? 54 viewers. Probably still a lot of it from the host. How much of that is from the host? Let's see. 31! Oh, there's still 31 people lurking, so thank you very much to everybody who lurked throughout that. 